Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. But first, a thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love the interaction and feedback. This is a quick video about copying and pasting worksheets and moving them and some of the issues that you may run into. We're going to assume that we have a data source that I use to create this dashboard here, or these worksheets. I've been playing with them and I like what I have. And I actually want to replace the ones in an existing dashboard or another worksheet. It's just you can just left click the items you want, you copy, move over to the other dashboard, and let's see, I'm going to put these on at the end. This is actually going to get put in front of this price change. I'm going to go and I'm going to click paste. Let me just move this for ease. Now, when you've pasted it, you're also bringing over the worksheet. In this case, I didn't prepare enough and they are actually called the same data source. So price chart two is using this data source here. I'm just gonna rename this one so that's easy to, so as we're looking at it. So this is the old one. Now, one thing you're going to see Okay, so now we've brought it over and they're basically the same. Let's see, this old one here has something called price change delta. The new data source doesn't have a price change delta. Instead, it has an index field, which is different. The other thing to be aware of is these, the parameters were also copied over. So if they were used, change bucket selected and month selected. Change bucket selected, month selected. Both of those were also brought over. So you can do two things here. Uh, one is you can just delete the old worksheets and replace them on the chart. And that may be the easiest thing to do just by selecting the chart finding chart price chart number two and swapping it out price chart two will be showing there but when you do that then you'll notice that the color legend associated with it also disappeared so let me re undo that the other option you have is if these are essentially the same data sources Let's come here. This is selected. I'm going to right click and I'm going to replace the data source. And I'm going to replace this with this new price change revised to click OK. And I will do that in just a second. But when that happens, be aware that this price change delta that was not in this new um, data source. And so what it does I'm not sure why index gets added. Perhaps index gets replaced by some of these other items. So there is gonna be some cleanup that you need to do if you don't have these fields. This one turned out okay. Your charts are working fine. Now you can bring in these other charts if you want. But I wanted to show you, and then when you have, you'll. They're all using this price change revised to. Then what you can do, you can go ahead and close that data source. I hope you'll check out these other cool videos that I've selected for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below.